It's clear that uh, I would be concerned if I was the president, uh, and that's why I wanted him to know, and I felt like I had a duty and obligation to tell him because, uh, as you know, he's been taking a lot of heat in the news media, uh, and I think to some degree uh, there are some things that he should look at to see whether, in fact, uh, he thinks the collection was proper or not. That was House Intelligence Chairman Devin Nunez talking to Sean Hannity. You'll hear more from him tonight at 10 o'clock. Also, Fox's James Rosen is reporting tonight that there could be a smoking gun, proof that the president was surveilled by the Obama administration during the transition and maybe before. We're joined now by Lanny Davis. He's been in Washington a long time. He was special counsel uh, to the president in the White House under Bill Clinton. Uh, Lanny, great to see you. Great to see you. So this is a fast-moving story. There's a lot we don't know. I think we've got to concede that. But there are some things we do know, and there are two tracks. One is the debate over whether the president should have sent that tweet in the first place. Okay. But there's a deeper question, I think, about is our government spying for political purposes? So we know a couple of things, but here's one that I think we can, we can say for certain we know. The FBI has not responded, apparently, to the House Intelligence Committee's request for documents as they're trying to figure out what exactly happened. Now, the FBI won't respond to the House Intel Committee, which provides oversight. Things are out of control, aren't they? Well, first of all, I disagree with uh, Director Comey's decision to go public to confirm what the FBI is investigating. I agree. It's completely improper. He did it when he disclosed his investigation of Hillary Clinton. I agree with you there, too. And he was wrong to confirm an investigation of the uh, contacts with the uh, Trump campaign. So to be consistent, I think Comey is acting improperly. But secondly, we all ought to be careful about jumping to conclusions. I certainly uh, don't think that Mr. Trump meant that literally Barack Obama himself was wiretapping Trump Tower. Right. But he should stay off Twitter and be president. Well, I, I, of course I agree with that and, and said that to him directly. But I think there's a much more important debate that we need to have about to what extent can the U.S. government spy on its own citizens and should they ever be authorizing spying of political opponents? Even if it's warranted, it's really a dangerous place to go. Liberals used to jump up and down about this, completely but no more. Completely agree, but the only evidence, I completely agree. I'm a civil libertarian and be inconsistent if I said it's okay now, but it wouldn't be okay if it was Democrats. But there's still uh, only evidence that people were incidentally overheard when a target with a FISA warrant who is an intelligence target, such as a Russian spy, I'm not sure might that, be that, talking that, that, that to an American. That's true. So here's what James Rosen is reporting, and it's consistent with what we already know. We know that the names in the reports were unmasked, which is to say they were not redacted before being sent around to what is, in fact, a massive intel community, certain to leak. That's against protocol. And we know that this, apparently, this investigation did not pertain to the Russians. It was something else, and it was authorized by the Obama administration. So just knowing those facts, I'm thinking they've crossed the line. You can't do that to a political opponent. That's crazy time. Well, you don't know facts yet, uh, Tucker. Well, we do know because we know the chairman said the names were not redacted. They were unmasked in the terms that they used. Uh, well, the, the chairman shouldn't be speaking at all. That may be true. But and, now that uh, we know that, that we, we, not we, a small thing. We, we only know that he said it. We haven't seen it. And I would like to suggest that the chairman, whether Democratic or Republican, of an intelligence committee, has to be bipartisan or nonpartisan. But let's assume that it's true, then that's wrong. But we also have to assume that the FISA warrant process, which involves Russian agents or intelligence who are talking to any Americans and are picked up incidentally, that's completely legal. But we don't know that just either. Because, just two things really quickly. We don't actually know that any of this took place under FISA, actually. We don't know that. No. There are other ways that they could have done Although this. Although Mr. Comey uh, should not have said this, but he said that as far as he was concerned, okay, the tweet but, was uh, not... But correct. something can be legal, as you found out working for the Clinton administration, and still be wrong, unseemly, unethical. This is a... This is a I mean, here's the last point I'm going to make. Shouldn't liberals defend the principle that the U.S. government yes. should not be spying on its own citizens without really good reason, and that you should never do it to your political opponents if you have any choice uh, at all. Absolutely. We have to be consistent. But yeah. you're using the expression, we have uh, evidence that there's been spying on citizens when the only spying that we know about is incidentally picking up an American talking Still to a spying. Russian agent. <laughs> Still spying. No, no, it, no yeah. it's, it's absolutely appropriate if you're uh, looking at a Russian agent talking yeah. to an American, it gets picked up, and then it should definitely Maybe. be a redaction. Pick up everything, as you know. Lanny, thanks for it's joining us. Great to be back uh, great to see with you. you. Thank Doctor. you.